Hey, binary option traders, this is Rich. Against the trend trade, not too comfortable with it. Uh, I'm going to take it because we are at a resistance level. Um, and the price is pretty strong on the euro, but it's moved up significantly. I'm talking real deal moves over the past hour. And what I'm looking to do is, you know, take a pullback. Hope for the single pullback and then take a call option later. Um, we did hit resistance two on the pivot lines, and if the price can hold and then come back a little bit, then we'd be in good shape. Um, currently looking at June 4, 2012, 9:38 a.m. We did have about a couple minutes to get in the trade. Uh, we are in it now with 85% payout potential. I hope everyone had a great weekend. And um, we'll take it from there. We're going to watch this trade close out, and we'll be back. Please keep the comments coming in the channel. If you just have a simple question, go ahead and ask it or some kind of comment. Uh, let us know because you know we want to keep this channel active and keep new traders uh, on the positive side of things. So we're going to take it from there. Uh, we got about five minutes to go, so I'll be back in a couple to close out this trade. So hang on. All right, so we're back here, and this trade's looking pretty good. Uh, entry of 1.24961, and it's currently at 1.24851. Um, 11 pips in our favor. Always nice to have that kind of trade. This was a trade going against the trend, but since uh, was it about an hour ago, not even, we've seen the price go from 1.2429 all the way to 1.2497. We're talking 70 pips in a half hour, and we I wasn't even looking at resistance one for a trade because it was blowing through that pretty quick. But as we started getting up to resistance two, then that was a good area to take a put option. Um, that would have worked out great, I thought, just based on the heavy moves we've seen on the euro lately. Um, the euro definitely has the momentum, and we're going to keep an eye on that for the rest of the trading week. Um, does the euro make a recovery based on the bad news in the U.S. and or does something happen in Greece or Spain that will turn the markets upside down again for the euro? These are all things you need to consider uh, fundamentally. Uh, technically, we are still looking at the same things we've always looked at. Pivot points, resistance points, uh, price action, what's happening right now at this specific time. What happened about a few hours ago if you look to the left. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up a chart after we look at the uh, final numbers. So hang on. All right, so look real quick. Here's a daily chart. Um, just ugly for the euro. And then we're finally seeing these two bars. This was Friday, and this is or this is last night. I'm sorry, this is Friday, and this is this is today. Excuse me. Um, just it's looking for this bounce. Do we get two? bars to the north and then or do we continue down or do we continue up good questions that no one really knows right now so we'll just keep an eye on that so let's go down to our one minute chart and here is that 1600 hour takeoff maneuver and it just stair stepped all the way up consolidated here for a bit but there's no way I was taking a put option on this consolidation just because there was no I mean you see this little wick here you see this little wick here you see this little wick here I mean it just had too much momentum to the north side but as we moved up to resistance two right here um, that's where I decided to consider a put option and that's what I did and then you can see the fall pullback here so solid trade on this uh, Monday we did take a put option against the trend not something we always love to do but if it sets up right you got to take it you know we're trading price action um, and that's what we look for. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the channel below. I'll be more happy to answer them or have other people in the channel respond to your comments. Uh, I like to keep it going, keep the uh, community active, and see where we can take it. Pretty exciting stuff. This is a great trade. I hope you guys saw this and maybe even got in it yourselves. So let me know if you did. Um, remember, I look at a Euro USD one minute chart, and if it sets up right, I take the trade. Um, 
pound dollar did a similar type of maneuver as well. So overall, great trade to start the week, and uh, we'll continue tomorrow, which will be Tuesday, I guess. Um, this is a long, full week after last week's four-day week, and we'll, we'll uh, just keep trading. Have a great one, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.